Hey there action figure collectors, pop culture lovers and comic fans out there, you are watching Azali's Try Talks and this is Azali and today I will be reviewing DC Films Armored Batman from Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice movie by DC Collectibles. So as usual we move towards our regular drill which is packaging and uh, this is a window box packaging and the figure can be seen clearly inside along with some of the accessories. On top here is the warning stuff written in multiple languages. At the bottom here we can see it is written DC Films written with bold letters and DC Collectibles logo and at this side here it says that uh, this is the first figure of this line the DC Films line and uh, it is written Armored Batman here and uh, on this corner here it says that this whole package contain nine pieces and uh, on this side we can see the figure in a dynamic pose and again on top here it is written DC Films below here it says that uh, this is the first figure of this line Armored Batman and at the very bottom here it is written DC Collectibles and finally at the back side here we can see the only figures that came under the shadow of uh, DC Films line and the other figure is Superman from the same Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice movie and again on top here it is written DC films with bold letters at the bottom here is the DC symbol and here it says that armored Batman has been sculpted by James Marsano and uh, finally on top here again it is written DC films in bold letters and uh, nothing important at the bottom just some random stuff about the company and manufacturers so that's it for the packaging so now let's rip this box open and take a look what actually lies within them stay tuned finally guys here it is armored batman out of the packaging and i'm very happy to have this figure in my possession in my collection I'm way too much excited right now and I like this figure this is one of the best Batman figures I have seen in terms of paint applications in terms of a sculpt and overall, overall authenticity and captures the excellent likeness of the character from the movie and I like it a lot and uh, let me tell you guys a fact that this is the only Ben Affleck Batman figure uh, which is based on 7 inch scale line the other companies who have manufactured uh, Ben Affleck Batman aside from that he's wearing an armor or not uh, the, those figures are only based on 6 inch scale 18 inch scale 12 inch scale and uh, I think uh, there is a uh, one figure that has been uh, based on 3.75 inch scale I don't know but uh, I'm talking about the companies such as Mayfax, SH Figuars, Hot Toys and uh, Mattel and even NECA but DC Collectibles has done it they have made this figure uh, based on 7 inch scale line I can compare it with my other figures uh, 7 inch scale figures like Batman Begins from NECA and uh, Arkham line and uh, even with the uh, Diamond Select action figures uh, from the Marvel Select line like Captain America, Iron Man etc. So this is the front view of a Batman action figure this is the side view and this is the rear view of uh, uh, armored Batman action figure and uh, this guy has a light up feature in the eyes let me show you guys but first we have to remove this plastic flap from the battery compartment like this and now we can push this button here like this and we can see his eyes lighten up if I can close the lights here we can see it more clearly looking cool right so again by pushing this button the light up feature off so if you can put it aside for a while and uh, take a look at the accessories this guy comes with uh, this instruction sheet here how to 
change the batteries or how to change the hands here like this and uh, an extra set of uh, batteries open palm hands here and uh, weapon holding hands a gun that Batman uses to take down Superman uh, in which he uses a, a fear toxin infused with the kryptonite particles or whatever and finally this uh, display base with a stand here this display base consists of three parts a clamp a, a bendable rod and finally this uh, base here uh, with multiple peg holes we can uh, peg this stick here on our desired position here 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 anywhere we like to put this rod so now we move towards the figure itself uh, talking about the articulation his head uh, the neck articulation or head articulation consists of two parts uh, one joint is between the head and the neck and the other is between the neck and the torso we are unable to see it right now because all of this armory stuff here anyway his head can move left and right like this a very slight neck pivot and uh, his arms can move back and forth like this and outward this far only this far the flaps are also articulated they can move up and down like this and we can also shift the uh, arms up and down like this if you can see here up and down up and down like this the there is a very uh, limited diaphragm articulation only this far because there is also a wiring going all the way through from this abdomen side to the head side here so a very little amount of diaphragm movement there is a bicep swivel here like this double jointed elbows here like this there is a swivel in the hands like this and there is also a hinge movement the hinge up and down movement in the hand as well the legs can move forward that much backward only that much because it is hindered by this uh, scout here and uh, outward this far there is also a little amount of swivel on the upper thigh section here like this double jointed knees like this and uh, the feet can move up and down like this this is also a very limited movement due to all this uh, armor stuff going on and there is also a pivot here a little amount of pivot like this and uh, nothing more and yeah one thing more the legs can also be shift up and down like this so that's it for the articulation so finally for some height comparisons here it is Ben Affleck armored Batman side by side with Christian Bale Batman from Batman Begins movie Taskmaster from upcoming Black Widow movie and Flash from Flash TV series and Golden Armor Wonder Woman from the latest Wonder Woman 1984 movie this Taskmaster has been manufactured by Diamond Select Toys this Batman has been manufactured by NECA while this uh, Flash has been manufactured by DC Collectibles and finally this Wonder Woman has been manufactured by McFarlane Toys and uh, all five of these figures are of 7 inch scale and uh, I forgot to mention that his cape is actually based on soft fabric and bendy wires so that uh, we can manipulate this cape in accordance with the 
suppose we are doing with this figure. So that's it for today folks, hope you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and if you have already been subscribed, just hit the bell icon so you never miss any videos from Ghazali's Try Talks. Also you can follow Ghazali's Try Talks on Facebook page as well, link is in the description below. This is Ghazali, over and out.